I mean, it's not anything I'm looking forward to, but I suppose we should get it done. So we open where we left off last week with Zach trying to fuck um, the Braxton hybrid. But, uh, and he's high, but this is not how people act when they're on marijuana. It's not this, no. No, no, never, ever, e no. I mean, you be silly and shit, but mm-mm, 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 this ain't it. This, this ain't it. I don't know what you would take to make you act like that. Maybe alcohol. I just, God, it's just, I don't know. Is it shitty writing or shitty acting or is it a mix? Well, it's Tyler Perry, so it's a mix. Huh, who do I think is the best actress on this show? The Braxton Hybrid. I'm wondering, are these his real tattoos or did he have this shit put on for the show? It's a Tyler Perry production. They're probably his real tattoos. Why does he have so many? Yeah, girl, that's what you get for moving in with a shelter sissy, a hobosexual. And then you're giving him your pen? Mm-mm. Oh, God, and a cross town in the bedroom that nobody can move in. I don't know if they just couldn't get their blocking right or what, but <laughs> we got Andy and her adulterer, and you know how they just kind of sit there in their scene. He gonna stand there in his towel, she gonna sit on the bed, and they ain't gonna move, because if they move, you gonna see the, uh, the opening in the ceiling with all the lights. They're in the small section of Tyler Perry's studio. Oh, Jesus, we're on peak Tyler Perry right now. Oh, my God. The adulterer says, well, this is about asking for the money. I'm sorry. And she said, you've been saying that a lot lately. Sit down. We need to talk. I'd rather stand. Yeah, you're going to stand because otherwise you're not going to be in the scene. It's going to be like that episode that we shot in Los Angeles where I wasn't in frame and y'all got furious. Oh, Lord. I'll never do that again. I was trying to help some friends out, lend them the platform. Like, I, I actually want my friends to succeed. Subscribe to Maddie Rants. This man, I mean, okay, you got chesses and arms, but your face is ashy and your hairline is uneven. Tyler, you couldn't even get barbers on set. He's supposed to be rich walking around with that hairline. <laughs> Looking like a state's border. So Andy's like, okay, go back and make nice with her so she can drop the divorce. And she's like, look, that way when you come your ass back in a month, because you know you will, she'll need a new lawyer because I'll tell her I'm too busy. That does kind of sound like a plan, but he ain't going to go for it. Did he get peck implants? I can't tell. It, it kind of looks like it. Men be getting shit done, too. Y'all don't be knowing. Men be getting shit done. Because I saw the way that shit moved. I was like, mm, mm, mm-hmm. I, I didn't get to trust and believe, honey. I done dated some men who done gone to the DR to have a few procedures done. And then you're like, what? What is this? Oh, Lord, I'll never forget one guy I was dating, and I didn't know he had a toupee until one day... I was just looking and I was just like, oh my God, this is a toupee. I wasn't mad. I was just shocked. So now he gonna accuse her of cheating with that grandma's son because she want him to go back. Honey, if she wanted it to be over, it would be over. She trying to save her sorry little career. I mean, she ain't shit lawyer running around doing all this bullshit. Oh my God. She said, look, I ain't going to risk my career, and he going to say I'm not worth it. No, you ain't with your ashy ass. You ain't. You ain't. Even if you was coconut oiled up, you ain't. Ain't nobody worth your job. Not nobody, not know how. I'm sorry. If somebody said, well, I want you to give up your YouTube. Fuck you. And I ain't even got that much. But fuck you. I ain't giving up what I've built, and I ain't giving up what I'm going for. Please. The fuck? You ain't worth it. You ain't never gonna be worth it. He gonna say, oh, you too proud. If I help you, it makes you weak. No, I have a career. That's it. And it's mine. And I wanna do with it what I wanna do with it. But 
Oh my God. She said, okay, I want to do private practice. One, I'm a young lawyer. I'm not ready yet. Like, private practice is really for highly skilled, highly specialized lawyers. We, like, we live in a world with legal Zoom. Like, you could do your own will. Like, you don't need, like, random run-of-the-mill ass lawyers. You need business lawyers, tax lawyers, immigration lawyers. Those are the people that can go into private practice. And even they have to be connected to people who can pay them a living. This ain't the 80s where you just, oh, I got my law degree. I'm set. We ain't in that world. We are in the world where Pete continues to dig up the bed. Honey, just go on and throw all the shit off the bed. If you go on and do it, go on and do it. Just put it on the floor. Just go on and put it on the floor. I need to do laundry anyway. Just put the shit on the floor. If you go, you know what? Actually, bag it. Since you want to be a nuisance, why don't you be a help? You're going to push shit around with your head. Push that shit in the laundry bag. Why don't you do that? Oh, now you're just going to lay down and yawn. You ain't even listening to me. He looked over here. <laughs> Pete, you ain't shit. Somebody in the chat said, oh, Alex, you love that secondhand dog. A secondhand dog. Then he said, well, if you can't get private practice going, why don't you just stay home and watch my kids? My kids. You know, we got a house full of them. Of all the things I'm going to stay home and do, watch your kids ain't going to be one of them. And they ain't mine, so I'm watching your kids. When they're your kids, you're parenting. When, when I'm with them, I'm watching them. And it's like, well, child, I did see them tear up your house. But, you know, you said watch them. I, that's really where it ended. I watched them. I watched them pull the credenza down. I watched them burn up your dress. And I watched them break the dishes. I watched. I wasn't going to do shit about it. Like, they ain't my kids. Oh, God. So he want to think about going home. Girl, he an asshole. Leave him. The dick cannot be that good. I'm looking at his eyebrows. His eyebrows is fucked up, so the dick can't be that good. He ashy, so the dick can't be that good. If you can't even put lotion or coconut oil on your body, you ain't going to take the time you need to with the strokes either. Mm-mm, honey. She said, well, look, child, you about to get served with papers, so no, you, you got to get on. So he going to take his ass on. Oh, God, they're coming back on January 8th, and we got the panty sissy in um, what he thinks are some mailboxes, but I'm sorry, that's what I see gay men on Fire Island wearing, and that's when they modest. It's a very European beach tea. Nobody cares about the Popeye sandwich anymore. And honestly... Chick-fil-A is better. It's better. It's just better. It's just better. Kentucky Fried Chicken and Waffles? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Pam. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, missus. No, sir. No, siree. No, siree, Bob. Ah, uh, the fuck, ah. Uh. No. No. That's enough out of you. That's a fuck enough out of you, KFC. Chicken and walk. Okay, so now um, the, Sabrina goes see Karen, and Karen ain't talking to the Braxton heifer because the Braxton heifer living with her shelter sissy. I mean, I'm sorry. If I'm done with them and you want to go ahead, well, I, girl, enjoy the dick. Tell them how to. Girl, I'd be giving your ass tips because I'm done. I'm done. And when I am done, I am done. When I'm done with you, I'm done with you. And I wish you nothing but the best. All right, child, if you want, go on. It might work for you. Didn't work for me. It's like a sweater. Are we still saying down low? Can we leave down low in, in the 2010s? Please, God. Please, God. Let's leave down low in the 2010s. You are not down low anymore. You're just a coward. Girl, that's the way he was raised. Ain't nobody raised to wear yellow panties. Panties are not a part of parenting. That's a personal preference. Especially at his big age. Because he look a, he look good, but a smooth 40 good. So I'm sorry, honey. He's been picking them panties for a minute. If you, are, if you are 40 years old giving a Miss Mary Mac with buttons all down your back on your panty tee, child, it, you know what it's all about. Hokey pokey. And I do mean Okay. Okay, how can you say I like you 
but I don't like your choices. Then you don't like them. Girl, you need to focus on becoming the regional manager at your bank and finding a man that gives you the heterosexual tea you need. Are we this desperate that we have to date men with yellow panties? Apparently. Well, then again, that's your personal choice because nobody's putting a gun to your head. This is not Handmaiden's Tale. You have a choice. You could have left when you saw the red panty. Instead, you spent the whole evening letting him eat your puss. Now, child, if you came in here with the red panty, that's a little too gay for me, and I'd send you on your way. Some people do it with a courtesy massage. Some people don't. But the point is, I see something that I'm not attracted to, I walk away because I'm not that desperate. What makes you that desperate is the fact that you stay for what you don't want instead of being brave enough to go back out into the world and find what you do. That's what makes you desperate, dear. See, this is what I hate about Tyler Perry and how he depicts gay people. The guy who's running the spin class walks in, okay, bitches, let's get this done. Ride it, hoes. Ride. I know plenty of gay men in the fitness field, and that's not what they give. Why do we have to be so unprofessional? Because you're a sorry, closeted sissy. But I see you, you see me, we see each other. Oh, God, we back at the Braxton Hybrids, and uh, what's-his-name is still naked. I'm sorry, unless we go and see Dick, you can keep these scenes to yourself. Do it all, or leave that shit on the motherfucking playground. Okay, so the Braxton Hybrid making Zach think that they actually had sex when they didn't, and she, she really getting into it. Oh, God, now we're at the gym with Sissy and Bank Sissy. And I'm talking about um, Sabrina's new man. Okay, now I want to know, why is he putting up with this shit? Why? If you've met this before, you know she's not interested, so you should be moving on. Oh, Lord, now I know this sissy ain't telling this other sissy to get out of his panties. How you going to butch somebody up from a queen's chair? There are many things I can do, many things I can advise you on. Butch ain't one. Know your strengths. Know your weaknesses. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't! 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 You are not in the gym. Squat! 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 You want to know a sissy? You can tell him. You can. You can see it in his squats. That's where it is. Oh yeah. Is it in his kiss? Oh no, he could be fool. Is it in his eyes? Oh no, he could be lying. If you want to know if he's a bottom, it's in his squats. That's where it is. <laughs> this fool just said, I got to keep this ass tight. I'm about to fall off the bar stool. <laughs> I got to keep this ass tight. I gotta keep this ass tight. I gotta keep... <laughs> Girl, he in the gym in these short shorts. He gonna say, oh, don't tell me you gonna start judging me too. Child, I think it's time to come out of the dark. Lord, so the girls and the guys are at the same gym at the same time. And uh, you know that um, Sissy Panties is really touchy-feely, and so he all up on the bank sissy, helping him do his squats. And, of course, all the girls are going to walk out and see this, and it's like, yeah, your man gay. Also, your friend is fucking your man, and, and that's, that's tacky. Sabrina's like, oh, no, I'm out of here. And, child, that sissy, oh, Lord. He was throwing that thing back best he could. Marcus was on his breast way more than I've ever seen him on Sabrina's. If we talking, we talking. Oh, now we're going to have a confrontate? Okay. Oh, God. So now um, he done guilted her into another date. For what? I don't want to see nobody that I'm too feminine for. Okay, he going to guilt her into a date and then be like, well, no, I'm not going to show her. <laughs> ah. That's a sissy. 
Oh God, somebody asked, is he Todd Christie feminine? Um, not that feminine, not that feminine. That's like me. Um, but he, he, he's feminine. It's just, it's the little things. Like, he, he's butch queen. He is butch queen realness. Like, honestly, like, category is tens across the motherfucking board for butch queen realness. That is the, like, definition of a butch queen. Oh, God. So, of course, Karen gives Sabrina the worst advice possible. Go ask his friend, the instructor, if he's gay. The, the spin instructor, you know that's going to get right back to him. I'm sorry, if somebody asks something about one of my friends, the first thing I do, oh, hold on, let me pee. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Boop, 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 boop. Because you're my friend, I'm going to let you know there's some bullshit going on. I'll keep you abreast. Oh, now Pete got the nerve to be fucking snoring and having dreams in his sleep after he done dug up the bed. He giving that boop, 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 boop. You know what dogs do when they sleep? They like blow air out of their jowls. Are you dreaming about digging up my bed? Probably. Oh God, now we got Andy and her fucking adulterer in the apartment where you can't move. So she didn't got him to go back to his wife. He always thinks you cheating because you're a fucking adulteress too. He cheating and you cheating. So of course everybody gonna think everybody cheating because you're cheaters. Pass around puss, pass around peen. Okay, so we have an R&B interlude and he take his ass on with his suitcase. Please get the fuck out of this small room. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you. And this small room, good look, don't shoot shit else there. Oh, God, now she's trying to cook up a tear. I've seen reality stars do better. Kenya could have given you a better tear than that, and Kenya be crying into her fucking purse. Oh, Lord, here comes Sabrina trying to get the tea on her sissy. If you got to get the tea on somebody, stop fucking them. That, I, I don't tell y'all to do much other than drink water, love yourselves, and have your veggie smoothies. But if you are in a relationship with someone and their trust is an issue, it is just time to move on. Leave it alone. Your intuition is telling you the truth. Sisters, T-A-S, for they ain't shit. You know what, I really should have Chris come over to do the finale. He ain't watch none of it, and he doesn't want to, which would make for a fabulous video. <laughs> I can see him now. Just the expressions. His eyebrow workout alone. <laughs> he like <laughs> Well, 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 well. So now the uh, instructor sissy says, oh, I think he's dating somebody who works on his houses. A man, not a woman, woman. But I have a feeling he gonna be like, oh no, we're just friends. We're actually related. So we really ain't fucking, that's Loki, my cousin. So yeah, we do hang out because you hang out with your family. It's gonna be a brother or a cousin and that fool ain't gonna know what he's talking about. Watch. Ooh, China, he said he a sissy. I, I honestly, I don't know where they're gonna take this story, but I know it's gonna be somewhere contrite. I feel like they gonna keep billing him as this straight man who just ends up in a lot of gay situation. And if he is gay, if he is gay, then I'm gonna be like, what the, what the, what, what the fuck? Like, how did you have time for this nonsense? Ah! Oh God! Oh God! He said, find somebody who is not on my team. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh shit! So he introduces her to Heinz, the single and straight massage therapist. And girl, you need a little neck work. Oh child, he offered her a free hour. And she looked like she needed. Now he gives me a hetero tea. Back at the law firm, Aaron shows up without an appointment. So he here asking for advice about Kent. Ken 
So he's here asking for advice about... Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! I will come down there and beat your ass! So, as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted. So he's asking for advice about Karen. She's apparently very abrasive. I wouldn't know anything about that. She's like, okay, look, I'm gonna bring y'all to a meeting and let y'all, you know, hash it out, but I ain't getting involved. Jesus, this is only one episode. Oh God, so we get back to the odd couple's house. This fool is still naked. Do you only have one pair of underwear? You can't get dressed without underwear. That's your excuse. That's your excuse. You ain't got no gray sweatpants. Because you look like a gray sweatpant wearing motherfucker. You ain't got no gray sweatpants. Mm, okay. Oh, God. So now Danny gone send Karen the sex tape because they fighting and Sabrina don't want her to do it. All right. We wrapping up the episode with the grandma's son coming by to give Andy some kind of gift. Oh, God. God, I've got another episode of this. Oh, God, now he asking her out, and she can't. Why? You already with an adulterer. Cheat some more. Cheat some more. Okay, now we're ending it with the, um, the private detective comes in. Leslie, the lesbian. Oh, and they just end it right there.